Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this final assembly of the term. I hope I find you well and looking forward to a summer holiday. And during this summer holiday, which starts today, I wonder what your reflections on the term will be. What will be your takeaways, as some people like to call them? This period that we're coming to the end of now has come to be known by various phrases that underline its seriousness, such as the COVID crisis, the global pandemic. And there are other phrases which slightly understate it. And of course, by doing that, also underline its seriousness. Phrases like these unprecedented times, these strange times. And we have over the last few months, I think all of us acquired a brand new lexicon Lockdown, self-isolation, our number, outbreak, virus, quarantine, vaccine, flattening the curve, spike, swab, antibody, epidemiology, test, zoom, online learning, trace, furlough, temperature, hand sanitizer, respiratory hygiene, statistics, scientists, face masks, face coverings, bubble, household, Frontline, key worker, social distancing, symptomatic, asymptomatic, and the list goes on and on. Of course, for many in our community, these last three months have been very challenging indeed. Either at a professional level, many of your parents and relatives will have been in the front line of the effort to manage and control the virus with the risk that that has brought to them and to their families. Some I know have very lost, very sadly lost members of their family and there are some whose grief has been deepened by being apart from loved ones in their suffering. And there has been the pressure on all of you that not being at school with your friends has brought and for many of us the watching of perhaps too much news and daily briefings has raised anxiety and given us possibly an exaggerated sense of danger that is going to take some time to subside. So as we come to the end of this term, let's start by taking a moment in silence, as we usually do in assembly, to bring all these thoughts together in prayer before God, along with a sense of hope for the future, gratitude for those graces that very definitely have been with us amidst the gloom, and excitement about the school opening in September and us seeing each other again. St. Benedict's prayer will appear on the screen for any of you who would like something to guide them in these brief moments. So let's take a moment of silence to begin. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I have many takeaways from these last few months, but a few have stood out for me more than some others, uh, as I've come to reflect on this term ahead of this assembly. One of the main highlights, of course, has been Worth Online, which has been a great success on so many levels. There will certainly be elements of the way we learn online that we will graft onto our usual methods, 
better, more efficient ways of engaging without losing any of the human interaction that has to lie at the heart of education. I certainly don't agree that online education is better than face-to-face -face education, as some people have begun to argue, but it has taught us things that we can make much of as we return to normal. Worth Online has extended to a new way of bringing people together, which we have called Worth Connecting. It's been great to meet so many old Worthians in this way over the last few months and to see the inspiring way that they are serving their communities. And this has come out in our Wednesday worships too, which has worked so well in the online platform. None of us will forget last week's very moving interview with Gordon Pereira and his wife Zoe. Gordon was an inspirational teacher before motor neuron disease entered his life, but has taken it to another level since in what he has taught us about service, patience, and love. Many people have worked very hard on Worth Online, but I'd like to pay special tribute to Mr. Fisher for the amazing work that he's done with the IT team to bring an entirely new way of teaching and learning into life so quickly and with such outstanding results for all of us who've been using it to keep things going so well. And I'm sure you will want to join me in wishing Mr. Fisher and his family every success and happiness as he moves on to become headmaster at Dover College. So let me congratulate you and your teachers once again for embracing the change that coronavirus forced on us so heartily. I'm very proud of our efforts and delighted that your learning has not only been able to continue on track through the period of disruption, but has reached into new and exciting ways of doing school and living out our values. Another highlight has of course been the opportunity to return to some normality here over the last few weeks with pupils from years 7, 8, 10 and 12 returning to school. While it was sad we weren't allowed to invite everyone back, having a representative group here brought the school suddenly back to life and reminded everyone that it's people who lie at the heart of the school experience. These images of your peers enjoying some normal time at Worth should help to remind you of the place, which is especially beautiful at this time of year. And even though we had to observe the guidelines around social distancing, that didn't really stop people having a good time and reacquainting themselves with friends that they hadn't seen properly since the middle of March. The best word for describing these three weeks is joy. And we all felt that from the teachers who helped put the program together to everyone who helped in other ways. And we didn't need any reminding uh, that our support staff do such a great job keeping the school up and running in ordinary time. But in reopening the school after a lockdown, you are all the more aware that schools rely on team spirits and team effort. And I'm sure you'll join me in thanking everyone involved in reopening the school this term and for all that they will be doing in the next eight weeks to get everything ready to welcome you back to Worth in September. So it only remains for me to thank you once again for all your very hard work this term, to wish you a happy summer holiday and to say how much we're looking forward to seeing you all back here at Worth or to welcoming you to Worth for the first time in September. See you soon. Bye bye.